Hi there beautiful souls and welcome to the channel. My name is Jay and I'm here with your most requested pick a card reading. Um, I do apologise for the delay in getting this out to you. Um, one of my family members was actually rushed into hospital and is now making slow progress thankfully. So I am back here on the channel with you. The most requested reading was actually does your person love you and do they care? So that's what we're going to be taking a look at here now. I want to take a uh, moment just to say a massive thank you to my subscribers, for all of you for being here watching, anyone who likes my videos or leaves me a comment, it really does mean an awful lot to me. And if you ever were interested in a personal reading, then my details are in the description box below and you can email me at heartandsoultarot at outlook.com. So we have three options here for you today. We have option one with the pink elephant, we have option two with the brown elephant, and we have option three with the green elephant. If you do need more time, then please pause the video here. Otherwise, I'm going to get started with group number one and find out, does your person love you? Do they care? Hi there, group one, and welcome to your reading. Thank you for being here. Okay, so your tarot cards to start off with, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the High Priestess, with the Sun, the Emperor, and the Ace of Swords. So the first thing I am noticing is that we do have three major arcana cards here. Um, that tells me this is quite a significant connection for you and your person. I do feel you are both feeling this very intensely. I also feel this could indicate challenges within your connection. There could be many obstacles at this current time keeping you and your person um, perhaps in separation or there could be that your person is not able to express their feelings to you at the moment. With regards to the question, do they love you, do they care, I do feel this person does have romantic feelings for you. We have the Knight of Cups here and this does speak of these romantic feelings and a desire to make some sort of romantic offer towards you. With the High Priestess being here, this could very well be all hidden. Maybe they haven't expressed their feelings to you. Um, or if they have, perhaps they've even pulled away after doing so. They could be, um, as this Two of Pentacles is suggesting here, this need for a balance. Um, there could be a sort of a back and forth energy here, a lot going on. I do feel your person does have a lot going on in their life at the moment. We do have the All Tied Up card here as well as, as say the need for balance with this two of pentacles here. I feel your person could be somebody who is very guarded or keeps things very close to their chest with a combination of the emperor and the high priestess being here. High priestess does speak about intuition, it speaks about secrets, um, it can speak of spiritual um, connections as well. I feel you are a very intuitive person and the emperor is usually very guarded, um, can sort of put on a bit of a um, a front okay so it doesn't really open up very easily what I do like about this particular emperor okay we do have the constellations here so it's kind of like this person is exploring and um, learning new skills at this time with the sun's energy Leo's energy could be um, significant for you um, in regards to timing with this love offer here okay or for, perhaps for some of you there's no communication at the moment and this could speak of communication coming in your way but I do feel Leo is of significance of some way here so it could be your sign your person sun moon rising or Venus um, but I already could represent a time frame as I say but the sun's energy is a very positive energy. This person does love your energy is what I get you. You do have this sunny energy about you. Your person is going through a time of growth. I also feel this is the case for you as well. There's a very celebratory energy around the sun as well as this growth energy. And I do feel this person does want to um, bring that sunshine and this balance back into this connection. We do have the new love card here, okay, with this image here. And this says, new love is coming in for you. Open your heart chakra and allow it in. I do feel your person is struggling to allow this love in. As I say, with the emperor, can be very guarded, can um, sort of have a wall up against the feeling side of things. And the high priestess, there's more going on in this situation that, um, that your person is showing you. But as I say, I feel that you probably already feel this intuitively anyway. We also have the engagement card here, okay, so this does speak about your love life ascending to a higher level of commitment and I do feel this is kind of like the decision your person could be trying to make at, at the moment, trying to weigh up, you know, um, 
how this could work or you know if they should focus on something else in their life right now but this person definitely does have loving feelings towards you and I do feel they care we have the ace of swords here as well so this again speaks about communication coming towards you it does speak about new beginnings as it's an ace this card always gives me a sense of freedom as well because of these birds here and you know as it's come next to this tied up card I feel your person is going to be able to free themselves from overthinking or whatever it is they've got themselves caught up in, whatever's creating this imbalance here. Um, that's their desire to find some sort of clarity here and um, a step forward then. So I do feel that there will be communication. As I say, I'm being drawn back to this sun card now. So Leo season, which is actually coming towards an end now. There could be this realisation for your person and then sort of Virgo season there could actually be communication or this elevation to the next level of commitment within your connection. We also have the mirror effects card here so this is telling me that your person is kind of feeling what you are feeling. You are feeling your person's energy perhaps and your person is picking up on your energy. I also feel this connection has caused for you and your person to both look in the mirror and to fully analyse who you are on a soul level, to get really deep within yourselves and um, what it is you truly want, to free yourselves, both of you, from anything that is no longer serving you here. So we're going to take a look at your message cards now. I am trying to manifest you, so this person is trying to manifest this connection, okay? They are, um, they do care, they do want this connection with you, and they do have these loving feelings towards you. I got scared, so I am still running. And what's interesting is your other card is my feelings for you scare me. So this person definitely does have deep feelings, and as I said, I feel these feelings are deeper than they have expressed to you. Um, but you intuitively pick up on these feelings that your person has for you. I do feel they're very guarded. <clears throat> and again, this running energy and the two of pentacles, like I said, it could be a very back and forth energy. Perhaps your person does come towards you with um, some sort of romantic gesture. And perhaps there's not that sort of follow through as a message I'm getting for some of you here. And your guidance in this connection is this lovely image here. And it says intuition. You are naturally... You are naturally a highly intuitive soul. Have faith in what you know, feel, see and tune in. So I do feel, you know, with the high priestess, your, your, your intuition is on fire here. I feel your person is learning to trust in their intuition as well, to um, sort of drop the guard, not so much go with logic and just go with how they feel. Um, I also feel this could, like I say, you're feeling each other's energies here. So there could be sort of um, a spiritual connection, um, a psychic connection between the two of you as well in this connection. But in answer to the question, does your person love you? Do they care? Yes, they do love you. They do have these deep loving feelings for you. Um, they are struggling to express them, but they are achieving this point of clarity within themselves, allowing for them to open up their heart chakra and allow this connection is what I feel here. Um, with regards to um, you, your advice here is just trusting your intuition at this time and to have understanding. This is going to take a little bit of time is what I get you for your person to stop running, okay? Um, and we do actually have the Divine Masculine's energy um, with the Emperor as well. So this could very well be your Divine Counterpart or your Twin Flame, high level of soulmate, however you want to label it. Um, it's going to take time to unfold, but I do feel your person is reaching that point of clarity where they are going to be able to express their deeper feelings towards you, group number one. So that has been your reading. I hope that it has been helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you in your situation. And if you do want to give a like, share, subscribe, that would be awesome as well. And I shall see you in another reading. Take care. Bye. Hi there, group two, and welcome to your reading. Thank you for being here. Okay, so let's have a look for your tarot cards. You have the five of swords, the six of pentacles, the two of wands. Then we have the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Fool, and you actually got an extra card, which was the Three of Cups. We do have some intense energies on the table here, okay? We do also have the Envy card with Karma. We have Awakening and Transformation, and we have It is Safe for You to Love. I do feel there could have been some conflict within this connection, okay? So you could have had crossed words with your person, you could have fallen out with your person. Um... There is this sense of your person right now is feeling trapped with this Eight of Swords energy, um, kind of not able to see a way out or a way forward at this time. Um, but with the Eight of Swords, it's kind of like self-imposed. 
I do feel there could be a little bit, for some of you at least, of an energy of self-sabotage. Perhaps your person is somebody who is struggling to accept love um, as a result of a lack of self-love here or low self-esteem. And this could cause this self-sabotage in energy. I do also feel that your person is somebody who really struggles to open up. We have the Four of Pentacles here. So I feel they are holding on to this connection. They are... They're not able to let this connection go, but at the same time, they're not able to, um, or at least they haven't been able to express how they feel to you. We do also have the Six of Pentacles here as well. Now, this can speak about an equal give and take. I do feel perhaps for many of you in this connection, there could have been a case of one or the other of you overgiving in this connection. And the other person has to say more in the Five of Swords, kind of that self-serving energy here. With the two of wands, I do feel there is a decision your person is trying to make at this time, okay? And I do feel, as I say, they're unable to let you go, unable to let this connection go. Um, but they are struggling all the same to move forward. What is nice is that we do have the Fool and the Three of Cups was the additional card that popped out for you. Now, the Three of Cups, it does speak about celebration, it does speak about happy times, it does speak about um, a union as well. And with the Fool's energy, especially with it coming with the Karma, which says Karma... Um, a karmic cycle is coming to an end, a new cycle is beginning, and it's this lovely image here, okay? Um, I do feel this is coming to an end for your person. They are going to find themselves at this point where they want to make forward movement with you, where they want to take this leap of faith. Um, three of Cups here as well, though I do need to mention perhaps for some of you, this could be a third party situation, okay? Um, but you will already be aware of that is what I'm getting. I am going to get some clarification for this Eight of Swords. What is it this person is keeping themselves trapped? What is going on here with this Eight of Swords? I don't feel for many of you, okay, there's like a sense of guilt. Perhaps this person has kind of just cut you off or ghosted you. And um, now they are they're feeling the effects of that then. We actually have the Four of Cups. So yeah, they're seeing this is a missed opportunity is what I get you. So this person does care. This person definitely does care. Um, and with the safe to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I feel this is your person's very closed off to love. Um, and they're not in a space where they are ready to give and receive. I do feel your person is... Um, we're going through this awakening, this transformation, this connection itself could have brought this um, change within your person. Perhaps they have been living from ego and now they are having some sort of a spiritual awakening going on here. But they are feeling the effect of whatever has happened in this connection um, to cause them now to feel like they've missed out on an opportunity with you. Let's get one more. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Yes, because they see your value. They see you of great value, male or female, it doesn't matter. It's the energy here. And they do see you as someone who knows their worth and is worthy. They do see you as somebody that they could have um, a long-term potential connection with. The Queen of um, Pentacles is very nurturing. She's abundant. She's got herself together. She's very balanced, very giving. Um, and kind of like wifey material as well. At the bottom of the deck, as we've been shuffling here, we do have the sun as well. So this is Leo's energy being represented. But you bring this person a lot of joy. As is suggested with this three of cups energy, It's um, this could be someone who's from your friend's circle or your friends as well as lovers. It's not just um, passionate between the two of you. There's this beautiful friendship is what I'm picking up on here as well. This is a big happy yes, okay? So I do feel there is going to be forward movement from your person. They are going through regrets at the moment. For some of them, okay, it could be you that is now with another person and that is creating this kind of envy from your person. What I'm also getting here, okay, is your person is sort of watching and noticing how you are handling this situation and they're a little bit envious of how much light you've still got going on while they're kind of left in the dark right now. What is nice is there is illumination here, okay, your person is coming into some sort of awakening as this card suggests. They are kind of seeing the light and the need for change is what I get here for a new cycle to begin for them. Okay, so let's get your written messages now. We have... I'm going to be bold. Are you ready? Wow, okay. So they are going to be taking this leap of faith. I suggest you do this full energy and starting this new cycle with you. 
I try to distract myself, but there is no escape in you. So this person may well have, you know, just ghosted you, as I said, or run away, or done something to sabotage this connection, um, to distract themselves, to get away from the connection because of the intensity of uh, how they are feeling. Um, but they can't get away from it anyway. You are energetically connected still. Wow, I can't let go even when I want to. This connection is unbreakable. So your person, yeah, may well have run away from this connection, okay? Um, or perhaps they did put you in a third party situation for some of you, okay? I am definitely feeling there was. This person's running and they're sort of doing anything to get away from the connection, but they can't. They can't break this connection. And I feel that's what this realization that's going on for your person is. That's why this new cycle is beginning um, as a result of transformation and awakening, um, which has been triggered by your connection with this person. And then your advice card is this lovely image here. And it says, facing fears. Wow. You can face your fears with courage, at will and determination. Liberate yourself from your limiting beliefs. You are not alone. You are always supported. That's a beautiful message for you. And I also feel this is very significant in regards to your person. Because it's interesting that we have, you know, facing fears here. And we have it is safe for you to love. So I feel the end result of this, okay, is your person realising they are safe to love. That they are supported. Facing is... Um, fears as a result of this awakening they are going through which is ultimately opening their heart chakra i feel that you have affected this person's heart space and they were not expecting it and um, perhaps they didn't want to fall in love okay but it's come from nowhere for many of them is what i get here um and they are having this heart awakening. They are facing their fears, which is allowing them to free themselves from this Eight of Swords energy into this beautiful, full energy, taking that leap of faith towards you. So that has been your reading group two. Um, do let me know in the comments below if this does resonate with you, if you found it helpful. Um, I do love reading all of your comments. And I shall see you in another reading. Take care. Bye. Hi there, group three, and welcome to your reading. Um, a big warm welcome. Thank you for being here watching. Okay, so let's have a look. With your tarot cards here, we have the Ten of Swords, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, uh, sorry, Knight of Wands. We have the Moon, Two of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Then we have some Oracle cards for you, and we have Locked and Sukewa, Goddess of the Moon, we have Patterns, and Release Your Ex. Okay, so what I feel is going on here for you, group number three, okay, this could be quite a fresh breakup. I do feel there has been an end in here, quite a painful end in, okay, with this Ten of Swords energy. Perhaps you are actually feeling stabbed in the back by this person. This person is actually feeling very left out in the cold with this Five of um, Pentacles energy. So in answer to the question, do they care? Yes, I do feel that they do care here. They are feeling... The Five of Pentacles is those soulmates who um, both are kind of feeling alone, feeling left out, feeling like an outsider perhaps, okay? They are feeling this separation, I feel, that the both of you are in at this moment. We also have the Knight of Wands here, okay? This person is feeling the desire um, to come towards you. They have very passionate feelings for you is what I get here as well. The Knight of Wands, okay, can be that kind of energy that comes in, has what they want and runs back out again, okay? So there could be, for some of you at least, that sort of energy where this person is um, not ready to settle down yet is what I get here, okay? It's still kind of playing the field. Um, we have the Moon energy represented twice here. So there's a lot going on behind the scenes for this person and in regards to this connection is what I get here. Could also be a lot of secrets, okay? Um, as well as the moon's energy, we do have the locked and secure. I do feel your person is somebody who could be um, quite shut down in the heart space. We also have the two of swords here. Now, although in this um, deck it doesn't show it, in the traditional deck it does show that lady um, sat near the sea coming in with arms folded across her chest, covering the heart chakra with a blindfold on. I do feel your person is a little bit closed off or quite a lot closed off in the heart space, um, but they are feeling the intensity and feeling left out. They are feeling in the cold as a result of this separation I feel you were in. 
We do have the Wheel of Fortune here, so this person does see you as part of their destiny. They do feel this is a very, um, they're very lucky to know you, to have you in their life, or to have had you in their life, okay? And what I get with here as well, as it's come under this Knight of Wands, I feel there could be sort of a chance meeting between you and your person. Perhaps you could run into each other, or that there could be sort of sudden movement um, at a fated point at, um, in divine timing with this Wheel of Fortune being here. I also feel for you, this has allowed you um, to, this is part of your spiritual growth as well then, okay, um, although things right now might be feeling very raw for you, um, and I am sorry that if you are feeling that way, I know it's not a nice feeling, know that there is hope here, that, you know, things are going to sort of balance out for you again, and I see you as this goddess of the moon, whether you're male or female, I do feel you are a natural healer, you've got light at your fingertips here, perhaps you are affected by the moon cycles as well, okay, so perhaps, um, there could be a release is what I'm getting here, okay, around the next full moon for you, there could be, um, almost like a purging energy is what I'm feeling. We also have the patterns card here, okay? Um, and the moons obviously do work in patterns. Like I was just saying, perhaps the moon phases are affecting you. But what this card is actually um, speaking about is you are recognising and releasing unhealthy patterns in love. And I do feel that is a message for you. Um, I do feel this connection has taught you a lot about cycles, about repeated cycles perhaps, okay? Um, and a lot about who you are on a soul level, who you are underneath, and perhaps giving you this realisation that you are actually this goddess, that you are actually um, this beautiful healer. We also have the release your ex, okay, the time has come to clear your energy. Now I do feel, okay, for some of you, this is a connection um, that has sort of served its purpose, okay, um, and it's sort of giving you the lessons you need. For others of you, okay, I feel it's this person needs to release something in order to come towards you um, and release them, these patterns themselves. It's interesting that we have, you know, releasing patterns and releasing the X. It could speak about that energy, okay. For others of you, as I say, you've had enough and you've walked away from this connection and you're going through this process, this healing process of releasing this connection. This person does care about this connection. There's no doubt in my mind there. And I feel their, their feelings for you are more intense than they are letting on. But they are just so closed down in the heart space. They're locked and secure. And as I say, the two of swords, the moon's energy here. There is lots going on internally. Your person is not expressing. Let's have a look from your messages. See if we can get more information. While well, we have, I need more time. I dream of you, it all feels so real, I reach out for you and you are not there. This is kind of, you know, the moon's energy is obviously speaking about night time as well and this person is dreaming about you and it's a very realistic dream which is making them want to rush towards you is what I get and it's sort of like this five of pentacles energy, this feeling left out in the cold when this person has this realisation that you're not there anymore. Um, I'm actually getting quite like a hollow feeling in my heart space and churning feeling in my tummy it's it's not a very nice experience for them um, but it's all part of this death and this change for your person which is helping them to release these unhealthy patterns that they might be carrying around with them and then we have i am wearing a mask it scares me that you can see through it but it's also why my love for you will never die so there is the answer to our other question does this person love you yes they do love you but they are keeping this well hidden and they are very closed off in the heart space um, there is a decision this person needs to make here. It actually scares your person that you can see through this mask. You are highly intuitive. Like I say, some sort of healer, some sort of um, goddess of the moon. You perhaps pick up on this intuitively and um, that your person does have these feelings, but they're doing a good job of keeping that under wraps at this time. But they are definitely, in um, they do care about this connection. They are definitely feeling left out in the cold. They're feeling the effect of this painful ending, I feel, that has happened within your connection. But they're releasing unhealthy patterns as a result of this. You know, for some of them, it could be a person they need to release. For others of them, it's unhealthy ways of thinking. It could be this feeling of lack that they have or low self-esteem that they are releasing which is probably why they're wearing a mask. If they have low self-esteem or you know, self-confidence, um, lack of self-love, they could put on this ego, this front. Perhaps you call this person out on this. And then your final card is this lovely image here, 
with clarity. The truth of the situation is being unveiled, bringing you clarity, beautiful. So there's a sense of clarity for your person, okay? And they do need more time. And there's also clarity coming for you. Like I say, for some of you, you have realised that this person is shut down in the heart space and that they need to work on themselves while you need to go away and work on yourself, even if it is just temporarily. Um, and for others of you, this is speaking, you know, about clarity in regards to which direction your person is going to be wanting to go forward with you, as well as bringing you clarity, because I do feel there is so much going on behind the scenes, perhaps secrets, things you're not aware of at this time, but you're intuitively picking them up on these things. And that could be causing you confusion as well here. Um, but yeah, trust in your intuition at this time. <clears throat> Focus on yourself is a message here. And this person, I do feel, although they're doing a very, very good job of hiding the fact that they love you, they do have these loving feelings for you. They do love you love you and although the connection seems to um, have come to an end at this point or is on a break at least there's a separation okay their love for you will never die and they definitely do care they are feeling left out in the cold as a result of this painful ending here group three so that was your reading please do let me know in the comments below if it um, was helpful if it resonated with you i'd like to hear that please and i love reading all of your comments if you did want to give me a like share subscribe i'd really appreciate that as well and i'll see you in another reading take care bye